Hi there, Jeff here from the Wetsuit Centre, talking to you today about getting in and out of a chest entry and zip-free wetsuit. Uh, just to give you a few sort of tips that we've learned over the years of how to get the suit on and, quite importantly, off as well. So it's uh, just going to walk you through the different stages, uh, give you a few sort of inside tips that might help make the process a bit easier. Okay, so here we have a zip-free wetsuit and a chest entry wetsuit. Uh, and essentially, the uh, zip-free and chest entry are very similar in terms of the way that you get into the suit, which is through the top here, bringing the top of the collar back and getting in through the top, which is where the problem lies. It's a bit more tricky than a back zip, which you can open right up. So people struggle, do struggle, especially as the older you get, the less mobile you get, it can be a bit tricky to get in and out of the wetsuit. But uh, we'll show you a few things that might make it a bit easier, and it's all about the preparation. So if we get our model in, that's our guinea pig, this is Robbie, he's going to be sort of uh, trying on the wetsuit and uh, sort of showing you stage by stage how to sort of uh, get into the suit itself. Uh, but we thought it would be of interest to you just to know what size Robbie is going to be wearing. He fits perfectly into a large tool. Uh, you're six foot two. Six foot two. That's indeed. correct. And yes. 85 kilos. How did you know? I know, that's weird. Wow. Yes. But yeah, we're, uh, we're, we'll get Robbie into a suit now. So stage one, uh, as I said before, is about sort of preparing the wetsuit to make it as easy as possible to get actually into the suit itself. So what Robbie's doing here is obviously take the hanger out, uh, but essentially what we're going to do is going to reach down inside the suit through the upper part of the chest entry, grab onto the hips of the suit, and then just give it a little shake inside out. And what that does is folds down the top part of the suit. Okay, so when you're actually putting on the suit, rather than pulling it across your whole body, you're essentially just pulling it on like a pair of trousers. So it then breaks the process down into two stages. Uh, and so stage one, turn it right, right far down to the hip, uh, and then that will be sort of prepared to then sort of slide it on like a pair of trousers. Okay, so now we have the wetsuit inside out, or halfway down. Uh, first thing to check is that you've got the wetsuit the right way around. So the best way to do that is just make sure the knee pads are facing out. Then you know you're not going to be putting it on back to front. Uh, but essentially what Robbie's going to do now is just uh, slide his legs in like a pair of trousers as we said before. And it should be much easier than crawling the wetsuit the whole way through. Now, if you do struggle to get your feet through, so if you've got particularly big feet, in relation to your body, uh, which a lot of people do, they do struggle to get their feet through. So what you can do is a little bit of a tip. You can uh, put a plastic bag on your feet, which will cut through to you in a second. Um, you have a little look. And uh, that just basically means you feel nice and smooth and you'll just slide through past the neoprene nice and easy rather than sort of gripping onto the neoprene, which your feet tend to do a little bit. But uh, Robbie's doing a good job here. It's kind of a, a realistic time scale of getting the suit on. But the thing to do here is, is to make sure the suit is in the right place. So knee pads over the knees, ankles where they should be. So essentially, once um, you've got this stage done, um, rather than continually moving the suit up, this part should be perfect. Ankles in the right place, knees in the right place, and uh, sort of uh, waist in the right place, and the crotch is right as well. The first stage completed, uh, and basically what you're looking for here is just to make sure everything's in the right place. So knee pads over the knees, um, ankles in the right place so that when you put your boots on it's all going to be in the right place. So that when you pull the suit up a bit further you're not continuously moving things up. You probably will have to adjust, but it basically means that you don't have to drag the suit up your body. Uh, but that is essentially stage one complete. So now Robbie's going to uh, do one arm first, which will be the left arm. Um, this is the arm that I typically go for, and the, and the reason that it's just on the right side to be able to sort of slide it in a bit easier. So he's just going to pop that through. Again, you can use the plastic bag technique with your hands. Should be less necessary, but um, some people do use it. Does work quite well. Uh, and the next one is the right arm, and you've got to make sure that you don't slide it inside of the actual chest entry compartment because that is a, a sort of common thing that people fall into, and then you end up sort of like kind of like Houdini trying to free yourself. Uh, but you should you see, it should slide up nice and easily up and over the body then naturally. And then the last part is you've just got to get that um, chest entry system or the sort of the uh, actual collar up and over your head. Which is again some parts some people do sort of struggle with because um, they're worried that they're going to damage the suit. But it is built to be super super flexible. Um, the sort of next stage, we just pull the toggle shut to get a good seal, and then obviously just reach around and uh, make sure that any sort of flaps and folds are flattened out. Uh, get those flaps nice and flat, um, flat to the suit, and essentially you are into the wetsuit then. Uh, and uh, if it fits well, uh, there shouldn't be any sort of folds or rolls or anything like that, and um, it should go on um, relatively easily like that. Obviously, if the suit's too small, you're really going to struggle, and if it's too big, it'll probably be a bit too easy and a bit gappy. Um, but uh, that is sort of stage two complete. So just as important is getting out of the wetsuit, which can be equally as tricky. 
Um, the key to just, is just to really reverse what you've already done, but there are a few sneaky techniques. So if you just go ahead and uh, loosen up the toggle, make sure that the actual chest piece is nice and loose so you can get it up and over your head. Now, the arm to get out first is definitely going to be your left arm. Okay, so what you do is you grab the collar and pull it down. And what you're looking to do is catch this piece under your elbow. Once that's caught, then you can reach for that big hold and pull it straight down over the elbow and it should come out nice and easily. So that's sort of two stage. Catch the first part, so your elbow is there, bend your elbow and then grab the big flap and pull it right the way over, which will free up your left arm. And once your left arm's out off, then you are on the home straight. You can sort of like start to roll the suit down your body. And then uh, again, once you've got up the elbow, you can pull the right arm out and you are free, essentially. The rest is obviously quite self-explanatory. Okay, so we hope that was helpful. Um, out of interest, in case you're interested, the suit that um, Robbie was using was an O'Neill Hyperfreak 5.4. That's a winter suit in the UK. Uh, nice stretchy, zip-free wetsuit. But zip-free is the more extreme of the two, so the chest entry should be a little bit easier because uh, when you're sort of uh, opening up the chest entry system, um, there's a bit more play and a bit more give in the top of the suit there as well. So rather than it being sort of like fastened down here, you can pull that top flap right back and open it right up because the two pieces of neoprene inside will open up nice and wide, which make it a bit easier. So of the two, the chest entry is easy. But it's basically the same principle for both. Just sort of follow those stages, prepare the wetsuit, and just sort of uh, go through those sort of stages of doing things. Hopefully that'll be quite helpful to you and uh, less assistance required from random strangers in the car park.